The last big trade here, we kind of hinted at this one. The Seahawks acquire Leonard Williams from the Giants for a second-round pick this year and then 2025 fifth-round pick. Our yeah. first question is from Tampa to, Tampa 2 coach. I actually love when you and Connor team up. Don't you think the Seahawks would have been better off with one of those Washington edge rushers over Leonard Williams? I think a lot of people are missing, though, the Seahawks won, I think. Their young edge rushers are turning they're, they're, the corner I agree. this year. I I agree. Know, nobody's really paying attention to that. No, I know. And Leonard Williams gives them that interior beef that now you're starting to become a little bit more stout. That wasn't Chase Young's game. Right. No, I think exactly right. Exactly right. I think you, you hit it on right, too. They got some edge guys that, you know, whether it's Taylor – you know, the rookie Hall from Auburn, right? Um, Boye Mafe a little Boye bit. Boye Mafe's yeah. had a very good year. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're missing somebody else. Um, oh, they just got Frank Clark, right? That's right. So they got a little depth and talent there. At the, I know everybody looks at it and goes, wait, they lost to Chena Nwusu. They're not going to be okay. And it's like, no, no, they are going to be okay. And I think really, too, the big thing with the Seattle Seahawks, and if you kind of break them down, right, their, their pass defense has not been good this year. It's, and of course, it's not because of lack of talent in their secondary. It's not. It's they've had to worry too much in, in loading the box to try to stop people from running the football. And like we just talked about, if you're going to – they looked at it, I think, the other day and went, wait, we got a chance this year. We're, we're here. You know, We got a chance to win the NFC West. We got a chance to – you know, you don't know how it plays out. The 49ers and the Eagles got to play each other in the divisional yeah. round, and we just got to beat one of them to go to the Super Bowl. We could do that. Right, so I think that's where they looked at it. I think they looked at it and said, "Wait, the 49ers and the Eagles are the class still." And oh, wait, Detroit and that big O line. Oh no, we got to worry about them too. I think that's where they looked at it too. And now they don't have to relegate so many people around the line of scrimmage to stop the run. Now you got a Draymond Jones who's a baller, and then you couple him with Leonard Williams, who are both very versatile. D tackle, D ends, can do three four, can play right. four three to where. Now they can not have to be so aggressive with their secondary to help out in the run, and I think cover a little bit more, and I think it's going to make them a more you know, effective defense altogether. But I think your, your point is the right point, that they got some young up-and-comers. You know, uh, what the hell is his name from Tennessee? Darion uh, t- uh, t- Taylor. Taylor, yeah. yeah. I know. Darrell Taylor? Darrell, it's Darrell, right? Yep. Yeah, that's Darryl, right. Darrell, 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 Darrell yeah. right. I, I, was, I don't know why I wanted to say Davion or whatever. They, they've but, taken second-round swings on athletes at edge, it feels like, forever. Yes, they and have. It's, it's starting they, to work out a little it bit. It is starting to work out. And they're kind of doing it, yeah, it might not be one superstar, but it's like a lot of good guys with depth, and they can rotate them in, and they're fresh. And, uh, of course, they're psychos because they play for the Seahawks and Pete Carroll. <laughs> Our next Seahawks question is from Mehmet305. Does the potential possibility of re-signing Leonard Williams in the offseason have any influence on the Seahawks to prefer him over the Sweat or Young who got traded for less? Well, uh, you know, I think so. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I would think before they made this trade, they, they looked at, you know, the balance of their checkbook and went, wait, can we, you know, give – Give the Giants a second round. Can we make this work for him long-term wise? I don't think he's going to ask for top-of-the-market type money. He's but, from the West Coast. Right. He's already got That's a massive right. USC guy. The USC right. guy, yeah. Right. And I think he's not going to get like um, some of the D-tackle contracts we saw. He'll be like that second group yep. underneath it. And I think they're probably thinking they can afford that. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday Pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the What the F*** Happened podcast. We're going to get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week. And then Thursday, I'm picking games with that jerk Florio. So you know where to find us, homies. Keep watching. Peace out. We'll see you.